Welcome to this training module on PowerShoot Network Shutdown Software for Nutanix. This training presentation explains how PowerShoot Network Shutdown Software works in conjunction with your APC UPS to protect your physical and virtual IT infrastructure from adverse power events. The next 30 minutes is structured as follows. For those of you not familiar with PowerShoot, this module first provides an introduction to the software's capabilities before providing a high-level overview of how PowerShoot works. We will then discuss the benefits of deploying PowerShoot Network Shutdown in a Nutanix environment, including the range of options available. Following this, a technical demo will show you how to configure PowerShoot to support a Nutanix cluster before showcasing PowerShoot Network Shutdown, protecting your Nutanix architecture during a power outage. At the end of this module, you will know how the software works, how to deploy PowerShoot to protect your Nutanix environment, and understand PowerShoot's flexibility, ease of integration, and configuration for Nutanix. PowerShoot Network Shutdown works in conjunction with the APC UPS Network Management Card to protect your physical and virtual IT infrastructure from adverse power events. The software is widely deployed in server rooms, data centers, branch offices, network closets, and distributed networks to protect IT equipment during a power outage, minimizing time to recovery. Single, redundant, parallel, and advanced UPS configurations are supported. This first diagram shows a standard single UPS with a network management card inserted in the smart slot protecting three servers, each with a PowerShoot network shutdown agent installed. The UPS network management card sends status updates every 25 seconds to each PowerShoot agent or immediately if there's a state change, such as the UPS switching to a battery power. PowerShoot will then initiate actions such as running a command file or starting a shutdown sequence depending on the nature of the UPS events and how PowerShoot is configured. As mentioned previously, PowerShoot Network Shutdown supports the following UPS configurations. A single UPS protecting one or more servers. Up to four UPSs configured in a redundant UPS configuration supporting one or more servers. Each UPS has the capacity to supply power to load on its own. The first UPS provides all the power for the load. The additional UPSs act as a reserve. PowerShoot Network Shutdown recognizes that the UPSs are set up in a parallel configuration and will monitor the changing load on the UPSs to manage how UPS events are aggregated depending on the level of redundancy in the system at any given time. The advanced UPS configuration enables a single PowerShoot Network Shutdown agent to monitor multiple UPS setups and initiate graceful shutdown based on different redundancy levels. Each UPS setup can be a single UPS or a UPS group of two or more UPSs. PowerShoot Network Shutdown is certified Nutanix ready for both the Acropolis Hypervisor and ECXI. PowerShoot provides the capability to safely shut down your Nutanix cluster when a power outage occurs. Additionally, PowerShoot can restart cluster services and user VMs when power is restored. PowerShoot issues commands to safely shut down Nutanix files cluster and bring it back up when power is restored. PowerShoot will detect any active replications that are in progress for a protection domain and cancel them. PowerShoot also provides support for Metro PD and a Nutanix ECXI cluster. During the shutdown sequence, it'll disable Metro PD and re-enable it when the cluster comes back up. The intuitive step-by-step -step setup wizard makes it quick and straightforward to set up APC power protection for your Nutanix cluster. VM prioritization allows you to control the order that your UVMs are shut down and powered on. Higher priority VMs are shut down last and powered on first. We are now going to move on to a technical demonstration of how you can configure PowerShoot in a Nutanix environment. Before we launch the PowerShoot setup, here is an overview of the Nutanix environment you need to protect. A single UPS is powering a Nutanix block with three AHV nodes forming the cluster. PowerShoot Network Shutdown version 4.3 for Nutanix AHV is available for download free of charge on apc.com. Choose Products and Services. Select UPS Management. Choose PowerShoot Network Shutdown. Click Download. Select PowerShoot Network Shutdown for Nutanix AHV. Select to download. Extract the contents of the downloaded zip file. Double click Extracted Setup x64.exe to start the installation. The PowerShoot Network Shutdown Setup window opens. 
click the next button. Click the I agree button. Select the enable Nutanix AHV support radio button. Click the next button. In a Nutanix environment, PowerShoot must be installed on a machine outside the cluster. Click OK. Click the next button. Click the install button. The configure firewall window opens. Click the yes button to start the installation. Click the finish button to launch the PowerShoot configuration wizard. Click next on the welcome screen. Select IPv4 or IPv6 and click next. Enter the IP address for the cluster or any controller VM. Enter password for Nutanix CVM user account. If the AHV host password is different to the CVM password, you can enter it here. Otherwise, this can be left blank. Click Next. Choose UPS Configuration and click Next. Enter PowerShoot username. Enter PowerShoot password. Enter authentication phrase. This must match with value on the network management card. Click Next. Enter the network management card IP address. Click Next. Confirm settings are correct and click Apply. Click Next. Once PowerShoot is successfully registered with the network management card, PowerShoot connects to Nutanix to gather details about the cluster. All AHV hosts in the cluster are automatically added for power protection. Click Next. If your UPS supports outlet groups, this page is displayed. Choose the outlet group that your Nutanix equipment is connected to. Click Apply to continue. Click Next once PowerShoot is registered with the outlet group. The Virtualization Settings page allows you to fine-tune the graceful shutdown sequence for user VMs and cluster services on your Nutanix equipment. Select VM Startup to configure PowerShoot to automatically restart user VMs when a power incident has been resolved. PowerShoot can gracefully shut down a Nutanix files cluster. Set the durations for shutting down and starting Nutanix files cluster. PowerShoot supports protection domains, aborting any active replications when a power incident occurs. Once all user VMs and Nutanix files cluster services have been gracefully shut down, PowerShoot will stop the Nutanix cluster. Set the time needed to stop the Nutanix cluster and start it again once the power outage is resolved. PowerShoot shuts down Nutanix controller VMs prior to host shutdown. On startup, PowerShoot will wait for CVMs to start fully before attempting to restart the cluster. Click Next to continue. Review settings and then click Next to apply the changes. These values can be modified in the main UI if needed after the initial setup is complete. To prolong battery life, you can choose to turn off the UPS once all Nutanix components are safely shut down. Click Next. Click Finish to complete the setup. PowerShoot shuts down by default when a low battery condition occurs. To configure shutdown actions for other conditions, select Configure Events. To enable shutdown when a power outage occurs, choose UPS on battery and click the gear icon. Select this checkbox to enable shutdown action. Set the required delay. This is the amount of time the UPS is on battery power before PowerShoot will start the shutdown sequence. Click Apply to save your changes. Shutdown settings allows you to configure additional options when a shutdown occurs. Choose Run Command to configure a command file or script that could execute during the shutdown sequence. Choose if the command file runs before AHV hosts shut down or after they have been powered down. From version 4.3, it is now possible to configure PowerShoot to execute commands on remote systems via SSH actions. Multiple SSH actions can be configured by clicking the Add Action button. SSH credentials are encrypted and securely stored in PowerShoot. Define multiple actions to run commands on several remote systems. Define when the SSH action should be executed. Fine-tune virtualization settings. Change durations to meet your environment needs.
Communication Settings allows you to check communication with the Nutanix cluster. Click this button to check if PowerShoot can connect to each AHV host. PowerShoot displays an error if it cannot connect to any of the AHV hosts. In this case, PowerShoot can connect without any issues. Click on Host Protection to view cluster hosts. If you expand your cluster after the initial setup, you can add the new AHV host for protection by PowerShoot here. VM prioritization allows you to fine tune the order that your user VMs are shut down and powered back up. PowerShoot detects all user VMs present on the Nutanix cluster. Logging into Prism, we can see the user VMs shown in the PowerShoot UI are retrieved from the Nutanix cluster. Note that Nutanix Files VMs and Controller VMs are not displayed since these need to be handled separately to user VMs. To prioritize VMs, select the VM on the left side and then drag and drop it on the priority group on the right. Once VMs have been added to priority groups, you can set the shutdown durations for each group. Lower priority groups are shut down first, with high priority group VMs being the last to be shut down. Set startup durations to control the order that user VMs are powered back up. High priority VMs are powered on first, followed by medium priority, and so on, with unprioritized VMs being powered on last. Click Apply to save your changes. We will trigger a power outage on the UPS protecting the Nutanix block to illustrate the shutdown sequence. For the purposes of the demo, we have set a short delay for the on-battery shutdown action. PowerShoot detects UPS running on battery power. After the configured delay, the shutdown sequence starts. User VMs are shut down first. Switching over to Prism, we can see VMs being commanded to shut down. Nutanix Files VMs and Controller VMs are not shut down at the same time as User VMs, which are now powered off. PowerShoot now issues a command to gracefully shut down Nutanix files. Nutanix files VMs are shut down. Nutanix files cluster has been stopped. For the demo, we have triggered an active replication for the protection domain. PowerShoot detects the active replication. After the configured delay, PowerShoot issues a command to abort the active replication. Active replication is aborted. PowerShoot proceeds to stop Nutanix cluster. PowerShoot then stops the controller's CVMs. PowerShoot gracefully shuts down each AHV host. Lastly, the machine running PowerShoot itself is shut down. PowerShoot has completed the shutdown sequence. All Nutanix components have been gracefully shut down. You have now reached the end of this e-learning module. To learn more, you can go to the product pages on apc.com to access online materials, including application notes and user guides. You can also download the software directly from the software slash firmware downloads link on the APC homepage.